Hello, my name is Meral Beksaç. Uh, I'm an academician at Ankara University in Turkey. I'm also affiliated with the International Myeloma Working Group and uh, under the EBMT in the Plasma Cell Disorders Subcommittee. And um, today we are going to be talking briefly on immunotherapy in multiple myeloma. The concept is so wide, but it's uh, improving so speedily that it's hard to catch up. Uh, now, uh, monoclonal antibodies as naked or with uh, drug conjugates or uh, as uh, other tools are now uh, de under development. And recently, uh, new drugs have been approved both by FDA and also in Europe. Furthermore, the immunotherapy concept is beyond uh, passive immunotherapy with monoclonal antibodies, but cellular therapy with CAR T cells or CAR NK cells are also expanding. Today, the question is how to implement these immunotherapies into the multiple myeloma, uh, both at diagnosis and at relapse. Uh, now, patients who are diagnosed today are very fortunate because monoclonal antibodies for both transplant ineligible and eligible uh, using anti-CD38 monoclonal antibody in combination with either RD or with BMP or with VDT is possible. And this gives a very high um, MRD rates. And um, this is also possible uh, to uh, reach at, at a certain point, for instance, after consolidation, like 60% of MRD negativity, which was uh, undeniable earlier. This will uh, erase the question, what will happen if patients who have already received a monoclonal antibody-based regimen at diagnosis, what will happen at relapse? And we are fortunate because we have new targets. Anti-CD38 can be followed with an, another monoclonal antibody or a bite, uh, which uh, targets uh, BCMA. And, and this will enable uh, to use these drugs. But um, there are um, other tools such as CAR T cells in this setting. So currently uh, successful CAR T cells, uh, which are targeting um, BCMA are now almost going to be approved soon. And so the question is which ones are to be selected and who should be given the priority? Today, the evidence so far is such that um, CD38 uh, relapses usually are CD38 negative. So for those patients, it's possible to give um, a bite targeting BCMA or an immunotoxin, again, targeting BCMA or a BCMA CAR T cell. And so far, there is uh, anecdotal and free, uh, small case reports which show that patients who failed a BCMA therapy uh, may still uh, continue expressing BCMA and may enable to use the other immunotherapeutic option, such as um, bite followed by an immunotoxin or vice versa, an immunotoxin followed by a bite molecule. But for a CAR T cell therapy and for immunotherapies, it's necessary that we should have an intact immune system. So the earlier immunotherapies are implemented, the better the results will be.